Hello. Today I'd like to demonstrate the termination of our LMR-LW540 cable. It's a half inch smooth wall aluminum cable and it's a great product um, for applications that require low passive intermod. Low passive intermod also it, it's, it's, it's really optimizes insertion loss. It's a great you know for low insertion loss application and incredible shielding performance with this cable. It's a very simple method to terminate this cable. We have a new tool our ST-540-J tool. This tool, in one step, exposes the center conductor, exposes the outer conductor, and deburs the center conductor all in one step. It can be used by hand, there's a handle here, but recommended, the recommended way to use it is use it with a tool. Unless you're gonna do, you know, just a couple of different terminations. If you're doing more than that, you're best to use a cordless drill. Just take an Allen wrench, oh, Allen wrench, back off that handle, take that handle off, Take a cordless drill, just pop that in there. So, and this smooth wall cable too, I'd also like to point out, you know, just getting started, as with any of our LMR cables, a great way to get started is make a nice, clean, square cut. And if you don't already have that, this tool, this CCT01 tool, cutting tool, is a great way to get that nice, square, clean cut. You want to get maybe a couple inches back from the end of the cable, you apply some downward force on the blade, and you spin the blade around the cable. And this has an aluminum tube out of conductor, so it just takes a little bit to get through that tube there. But uh, you quickly scribe right through that. And what you're going to end up with is a, just a nice, a nice square, clean cut on the cable. At this point, you want to put just a little bit of a bend in the cable, something to grab a hold of. You take your drill. Place it over the cable. Now you can let the drill do the work, and you're going to feel the drill speed up when it's done. It's going to spin freely, so you don't have to worry about going too far. You just let the tool do the work until it spins freely and you're done. You see everything, you know, the jacket, the outer country being trimmed away. And there you go. You know, the drill speeds up. At that point, it's an indication that that's done. And you can see, you know, your, your center conductor is exposed, your outer conductor is exposed, and you've also deburred the center conductor. At this point, take your connector. The connector has, is composed of three parts. It's the, the back, back nut, which has an O-ring inside to prevent moisture and rest. There's a little flare bushing, and there's the front end, which is the interface. Now, with this cable, regardless of the type of connector you're using, whatever interface you're using, this back nut and this flare bushing are going to remain the same. So the termination method is, is identical no matter what connector you're using on this cable. You take this uh, back nut with the O-ring in it, place it over the cable. It's going to be a snug fit against that O-ring there. You take this flare bushing, just place it over the cable as, as such, and it's going to bottom out on the jacket. Give it a little push, bottom on the jacket. And you, you're going to want you're going to, that, that foam core is going to be just about flush with the end of this bushing. It may protrude just a little bit, just slightly. Then there's just a little bit of film hair on this outer conductor. To take off. I don't think it would interfere, but uh, just to... It's always a good idea to make sure the sign of is clean. We have our FT-540 tool. It's got a little uh, nub there that's going to do the flaring. It's got, you place that over the center conductor. With this, you just want to make two revolutions. The first revolution, and what you're doing is you're flaring out that outer tube. First revolution can be, you know, fairly soft. Just go right around. And just, just to be sure, you come around one last time, one last revolution. And now that thing is locked on there. And in terms of passive intermod, you can imagine that this is going to give you a very good performance. You made nice 360 degree contact with that outer conductor all the way around. You take your interface at this point, the, interface, the pin is a, a gold plated beryllium copper spring finger pin, just like many of our easy style connectors. Just snap that onto the center conductor. So bring that back nut up, and you, you just torque the four and a half sections together. 
There are flats on the front of the connector, there are flats on the back. We torque that until that O-ring basically disappears, until you see metal to metal contact and you're done. You got the O-ring in the back there and you're all set. Thanks a lot.